Okay, so hello and welcome back everybody. Um, today I thought I'd show you a Russell Hobbs bread maker. Why a bread maker, I hear you ask. Well, first of all, we were away in the caravan, or the tin tent, as we call it, um, a few weeks ago, just for one night, and we woke up on the Sunday morning, and we had this really strong smell of fresh baked bread, and we've got no idea where it came from. And I said to Mrs T, I said, why don't we invest again in a bread maker? We used to have one years ago and take it away in the tin tent and then set it to start baking in the middle of the night. So when we wake up in the morning, we can have that fresh bread when we're out camping. So we've done that. We've bought a new bread maker. Um, as I said, we had one years and years and years ago, um, but now we've got another one. And I'm just going to share you or share with you our Russell Hobbs bread maker here it is nice little compact machine comes in black or white in fact i think if you want the white one it's actually a penny cheaper certainly on amazon so there you go um it's quite a remarkable piece of kit really if you're looking for a bread maker i would certainly consider one of these um this is the first time i'm going to use it so i'm going to share that with you um there is a timer facility on this so you can actually set the timer so you can fill it up put all the uh, ingredients in there set the timer go to bed and then in the early hours of the morning it starts working and you wake up with fresh bread i will vlog that just to see how well that works but just for today i'm going to really walk you around if you can walk around a bread maker we're going to make a very basic white loaf of bread um, it will take about three hours 20 minutes to cook and prove and knead etc etc um, obviously the video is not going to be three hours 20 long i hear you say thank goodness for that um, so we'll cut in and out and we'll pick up the process but just a few things about this bread maker before we start first of all there's 12 programs. You can see the 12 programs on there. You've got basic, you've got French bread, whole, um, whole wheat bread, it makes cake, sweet bread, dough, jam. This is another thing. It's a jam maker as well. And yeah, I am going to vlog how to make jam inside the Russell Hobbs bread maker. So we're going to do jam at one stage. Uh, a sandwich loaf, gluten-free bread, which is really important. We've got quite a lot of friends that are, are really on gluten-free diets now. Um, so this is really good. You've got a, a few gluten-free recipes here. Fast bake one and fast bake two. So if you're really in a hurry, you can do um, you know a really quick recipe and then speciality bread sort of malt breads and things like that so lots of different options here for you to do you can also choose the size of loaves you're doing so up here you've got small medium or large and when they say small medium or large it's a 500 gram loaf a 750 or a one kilo loaf and then you can choose the crust whether you go for a light crust a sort of normal-ish Average -y sort of like um, sort of half baked crust, or you can go for a really dark crust. So you can actually select those options as well. You've got your on off start button, and then here in the middle, this is where you set the timer. But we're not going to do the timer today. What we're going to do is a basic loaf, and to choose that, you hit the menu here and you hit it, and that comes program two, three, four, five. Six, seven, we're looking for program one, eight, nine, ten, eleven, program twelve, and I think we'll go back to one. There you go, program one. So that's what we want, which is three hours and twenty minutes long. Then all we need to do is just press that, um, well, just press that start button and off we go. But let's have a quick look inside, shall we? It's so easy to operate, opens up just like that there's no clips there's nothing there and then inside you've got the non-stick bowl where everything happens where it gets your bread gets kneaded it proves in there it cooks in there it's a really good quality non-stick bowl you've got a paddle in there in the bottom which goes round 
and that does the kneading, kneading of the bread. I'm just gonna turn it on just so you can see that happen. There you go. So that's what happens and that's the magic when it makes the bread. So it slowly mixes all the ingredients, it proves it, the heat comes up genuinely, um, um, gently, then it mixes it again and kneads it until it's ready to actually bake. I'm just going to turn that off um, and stop that. And there we go, so that's turned off. And then this little thing here, this is the actual tray that comes out and you just lift it out and that's it. Turn your loaf out upside down and then you pop it back in. You can wash it in the sink, um, warm soapy water, don't use scarers because you'll take that um, non-stick surface off there. And that is it. It's a very, very simple piece of kit. Lid down, you can actually look through the top and see what's happening. And obviously you've got vents here at the top and you get to smell that fresh bread baking. Um, so that's it really, lots and lots of exciting things. Um, uh, the timer delay you can set, and this is including cooking time, up to about 13 hours ahead. So if you were going to bed at 11 o'clock at night and you wanted bread at seven o'clock in the morning say, um, then what you would do is you would set the timer to um let's see you'd go in at, if you wanted it to be cooked for seven you'd set the timer for about 3 30 in the morning because then the bread would actually be just about perfect so if you went to bed uh at 11 o'clock you'd set it to come on in four and a half hours time very simple although i'm sure i have just completely and utterly confused you all now but uh, really sorry about that. Here's the ingredients we've got set for our first loaf. Now we're doing a plain white loaf, nothing too extravagant, a plain white loaf. I'm going to do a large loaf and it gives you all the ingredients that you need to use. So if you look there, 360 grams of water, which is actually 360 milliliters, 30 grams of olive oil, 16 grams of salt, 30 grams of caster sugar, 12 grams of dried milk powder, 600 grams of strong white bread flour, and seven grams of yeast. Now the yeast you can use in this, you don't need fresh yeast. You can actually buy the yeast that you get in little tubs. I'm just gonna get one out of the cupboard now and show it to you. That's the yeast we're using. Um, I'm using Allison's yeast. It's an easy bake yeast. It's in all the recipes. This little tub here, um, uh, I think I paid just over, yeah, it was a pound actually for the whole tub, which I bought uh, in Tesco's yesterday. Um, and I think that is about 100 grams in there. And I've just used seven grams in that recipe. So that tub of yeast is going to last quite some time. And what I plan to do really is to make a few loaves of bread over the next few weeks and pop them in the freezer as well, because I think that would be quite nice just to take a fresh home baked loaf out of the freezer every now and again at a weekend um, and just use it at home or give it to the family. Why not, eh? So what have we got here for the ingredients? I've got the water in here. Now this is quite a warm water. You don't need it too hot. It's got to be a nice warm water to get that yeast activated and working. I've got the flour in the bowl here. And in here, I've got the yeast, I've got sugar, I've got the salt all sitting there in there, in that. And I've also got the dried milk. And then in there, I've got the olive oil. Now it doesn't say in which order to pop all this into the bread maker, but I'm going to assume and I shouldn't assume, but I'm going to assume that the liquids really ought to go in first, because if the liquids are in there first, then hopefully that will be a good base for the mix to start. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to take the warm water and just pour that into the basin there. I'm then going to take the olive oil 
and just pull that in the top there. And this is so simple. There's no messing around. You don't have to do anything. Then I'm going to sprinkle just a little bit of that yeast, salt and sugar. Sprinkle some of the flour in. It's quite hard when you've only got one hand. She's got Mrs. T, but she's working at the moment. Stick in the rest of that yeast, sugar, dried milk, rest of the flour. And that's it. That, I think you find, is all we need to do. And we turn it on, we let it do its magic for three hours and 20 minutes, and we should come back to a really, really, really wonderful loaf of bread with a smell that is beyond heaven, I think. So, let's close the lid. Lid down. We're on the right programme, and all we're gonna do now is start it. And that should be it. If you can see in there, it's now starting to just mix everything away and turn all that mixture into a dough. And now at the moment, I'm not going to lift the lid and watch it because obviously as it's mixing, some of that flour puffs up in the air and we don't really want any of that to come out or make a right mess. So what we'll do is we'll come back in a few minutes once that it's in a bit of a dough and have a look and then, well, we'll just go through the process and hopefully we can enjoy this together. We'll come back again very, very soon. Okay, so we're one hour, uh, an hour and 10 minutes? No, it's 3.20, da, 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 50 minutes into it, sorry. Don't know why I've got one hour and 10 minutes. 50 minutes in, you can see the bread in there. Look at that, have a quick peek in there. I'm sure I shouldn't, but there you go. All nicely mixed up and proving quite nicely. Beautiful in there. So, as you can see, two hours and ten left to go of the three hours twenty. So, that's good. I wanted to sort of show you this as well. I've got this new book that um, I sent off for. It's $5.99. I've got it for Amazon. It's called Brilliant Bread Making in Your Bread Machine. And I think this looks pretty good, actually. It's got... Oh, dozens of, of, of different recipes. But there's a couple in there I really really think I should try it. And one is a sun-dried tomato and olive bread, which I think would be lovely with something like tzatziki or um, hummus. And there's a really, really nice chocolate and banana bread in there as well. So I'm going to give those a try. But we'll come back to you again later. We're still here. Um, we've still got another two hours and nine minutes to go. So we'll pop back periodically and have a quick look just to see what the Russell Hobbs bread maker is like. Catch you again shortly. Okay, so here we go. One more check in before we finish cooking this batch of bread. Um, what have we got left here? There we go. One hour left on the clock. So that means we've already done two hours, 20 minutes, and that's flown by. I've made a cup of tea, I've had a snooze on the sofa, I've read a book, um, I poured a glass for Mrs. T while she's doing some work in, in her study. I've all oh, been so busy, it's unbelievable. I've even got a little tiny joint of lamb on the roast in the oven there, just so when this is actually finally cooked. We're going to have some fresh bread and, and chunks of lamb and some mint sauce just for supper here this evening. So look at that, you can see inside how that has actually risen. And we are on the home straight. So that is now starting to bake. Um, it's going to be a big loaf. It really is a big loaf. And I am so excited about this because I think this could mean, oh, so many things. I'm already really excited about cooking the sun-dried tomato and olive loaf and uh, the banana and chocolate loaf. So many possibilities. But anyway, oh, 
I'm salvating, right, 59 minutes to go. I'll come back to you once it's cooked and once we then need to take it out of there and turn it out and let it cool just so it starts to cool down enough for us to be able to slice it open and have a look at it. I'll be back with you again very, very soon. Okay, so it's just gone beep, beep, beep and we've got some bread, I think. Hello, Mrs. T. Hello. So you finished your work, haven't you? I did, you? yes. Yes, you got your glass of wine. I have. And you're going to watch me empty me bread. <laughs> yes. Thing. Did yes. you miss me? Um, I didn't, but I'm sure they did. Oh, that's all right. Ask right. them. Hello, did you miss me? Yes. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh dear. dear. Right, okay, so we've got bread. So there it is. It looks bready and cookie and stuff. So I'm just going to pull... It's quite big. I thought... Like, mm. That's what they all say. <laughs> but, uh, I'll take that out because it's quite... Right. Is it hot? It's quite tough to get out. Oh, I've squashed it with my glove. How are you supposed to get it out then? Well, apparently you meant to just pull oh, it out there. there so there you go. You might need some you're, sort of... You're knackered now, aren't you? Oh. <laughs> I have then to the top by doing that, but hey, you know. I wonder why it took so much to get it's out. It's real, and it, um, I don't know. Perhaps it's. Um, Is it hot? It, Ow, bugger! You yes. stupid woman. Well, I don't know. It just didn't look. Okay, you know. and then it just says sort of tip it out, and then. Tip it out. Because um, it obviously just baked at a very hot. Oh look at that! <gasps> That's real bread. And then they say just put it on there to cool down because. If you cut it now, mm. um, it will just fall to pieces. Not because the air goes out of it, but because it's it's really fresh bread. You know what fresh bread is like? Doughy. Fresh, fresh bread. Yeah, yeah. No, no, it's not even doughy. No. But you won't be able to cut that properly. All right. So what they're saying is let it cool down because as you cool bread, mm. the moisture evaporates. Oh. So, in which means it's a lot easier to cut. But that, for our first loaf <laughs> of basic white bread... That's very good. I it like that. It's very good. Now, I went for the medium brown look. So, I think next time we do it, it might go for the brownie brown look on the top. Because you can have this as different. Can you? Uh, yeah, you can have a different type of brown. Oh. That's very hot, so you oh. can... Oh, God, that smells like yeah, bread. Beautiful. Oh, lovely. Um, I can't wait to do the next one. next one we're going to do is sun-dried tomato and olives. <gasps> sun-dried tomatoes and you hate olives but I, I know but I think olives. I'll be able to deal with the olives oh, will you? yeah I'll spit them out or something <laughs> I love olives but we're gonna have that later with that piece Can I of ask lamb a question? yeah have I got to clear this out and clean it out Look. No. Oh, no, no, it's just a quick wipe round with warm soapy water. Let me just Good go grief. you stay there I'm gonna turn the lights on and we should have done that in the first place what turn the lights on there oh go. my god Good grief so that's a lot better, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, um, it's, it's, I thought it was just going to be, you know, caked in no. crap that I had to clear up. Um, Sorry. Yeah. You bread. Know. Bread. Breaked in, yeah, you caked know. Caked in bread. And that's clean as well, isn't well, of it? Of course it is. Nothing should oh, be yeah, there. It just yeah. needs a white round with a cloth, but it's very, very hot in there. Yeah. Obviously, because yeah. the element's been going. Yeah. That's all off. Let's just turn everything off now. Oh, beep. So that's all off. Let's let that cool down. Let that cool down. Let that cool down because that's still really, really hot. That's nice though. And uh, yeah. Well done, you. Excellent. So we'll come back in a few minutes when we can slice the bread. Oh, okay. And uh, just have a quick look, see what it's like inside. Can I have another glass of wine now? Uh, you can have another glass of wine if you're a good girl. Okay, thank you. Okay, so we'll come back to you in a few minutes. <laughs> see you in a bit. Bye. <laughs> okay. We're starving. Aye, We've we got are. a piece of lamb. We've got some mint sauce. We're going to have it with some bread. We're hoping that this is going to cut nicely. We've got a nice sharp knife. Let's just see. Oh my gosh, that is a sharp knife. Look. Oh, look at that. Oh, that's going to be another slice. Oh, that's marvellous. Oh, that's going to be really good. Can you see that nice? I mean, oh. it's still very, very hot. Is it hot? But you can yeah. see that is a lovely bread. Mmm, it's very nice. Yeah? Mmm. Look at it inside there. You can see it. It's a nice, spongy bread. 
So there you go. Mm. That, everybody, is a Russell Hobbs <laughs> bread maker. This is a basic loaf. It took us three hours, 20 minutes, but it doesn't take three hours, 20 minutes. Oh because like I said, I had a snooze, I had a cup of tea, I read some book, I gave you a glass of wine, I potted Thank around. You. Um, <laughs> you're very, very welcome. But do you know what I'm trying to say is, I know it's another gadget. Yes, you can have it home, but you can take it away yeah. in the caravan. Yeah. You can pop it in your awning, put it in your motorhome. Yeah. You can take this anywhere. And I can't wait to do this sun-dried tomato Ooh, and yummy. black olive piece of bread. I'm looking forward to it already. That's beautiful. We are going to have, um, I think it's fair to say, our supper this evening, which is really lunch because we haven't had it. Look, that's just going to show as well. That is a very, very sharp knife. You can still cut it and slice it. Look, it's okay, it's not the best slice in the world, well, but you can guess. get a good slice out of that. Yeah. I'm really pleased. Good, so am I. Very pleased with that. That is the Russell Hobbs um, bread maker. £60 pounds mm -hmm. from Amazon. Mm -hmm. 59.99 if you want it in white. Really? Don't ask me why. <laughs> Don't ask me why. <laughs> Um, but there you go. If you found that of interest, please, please, please give us a thumbs up. We would appreciate it. Thank you very much. Thank you. And please don't forget, hit that red button and subscribe. Because the more you subscribe, the more of these little things we can bring you. And the next one we bring you will be sun-dried tomatoes and black olives. Yummy. Okay, that's it. We're going to have supper. Thank you, everybody, for watching. Stay safe. And bye for now. Bye.